an interesting one. Russell Blue Water. He says it's kind of off topic, but if you have the time, and I assume you can answer this pretty quickly. He wanted to ask somebody calling me. Can you elaborate what a well-regulated militia means and how it is in conjunction with the Second Amendment? Okay. Can you explain? This is this is a big sidebar question. I'll try to do it as quickly as possible. Can you explain what a well-regulated militia means and what it has to do with the Second Amendment? Well, first. What is the Second Amendment? Well, the Second Amendment is the part of the Bill of Rights that describes gun rights as saying the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And the Bill of Rights is an addendum, uh, an amendment, a series of amendments, that's why they're called amendments, that amend the Constitution. And the Constitution is an illegal document that creates the central authority that we are living under now in the United States. It's illegal because it unlawfully displaced the Articles of Confederation. Going over this historically, it's quite simple to point out that the Articles of Confederation required unanimous consent for any changing of that system or that legal document as the supreme law of the land in the former colonies, now independent states, in the Confederation of the United States. The Drafters of the Constitution were actually engaging in a counter-revolution. The revolution was for freedom, to tell King George, screw you, go pound sand, we're not going to pay your tea tax or any other of your taxes, we are going to be free and independent and no longer part of your empire. Those were the founders. The framers were the ones who screwed it all up. Arguably, possibly part of a conspiracy with people back in England to keep elites in charge, to have a new central bank for the United States but obviously, even on its face, to create a document that endorsed slavery, endorsed taxation, and endorsed a standing army, all things the founders opposed. The Bill of Rights was the excuse. Look, give us all this power, and uh, we promise we won't mess with any of your rights, like your right to free speech, your gun rights, your privacy, your, your due pro We will make sure that you we promise if you give us this power, we'll respect your rights. Well, how's that working for you, America? Not very good, is it? So I would not have used that language at all. This is not my language. I do not endorse the Second Amendment. I endorse your basic human right to defend yourself how you see fit without permission from any authority, voluntary or involuntary. But certainly an involuntary authority that is forced on you is not a legitimate one. Social contracts? I didn't sign shit. No, it is not okay to force a contract on someone against their will. If they do not voluntarily agree to that contract, you're just a criminal forcing your terms on someone else. Yeah, you're the criminal. The government is criminal. The federal government is criminal. The Constitution is a criminal document. The Constitution, as we live under today, is a fundamentally criminal document. So I don't really care what excuses they use. Uh, do I care if a regulated, if a, if a militia is well regulated by the government's definition or not? Fuck no. The only regulation that I believe is appropriate for a militia is gun control. And by gun control, I mean hitting your target, keeping your finger straight off the trigger until you intend to fire, never pointing a weapon at anything you do not intend to shoot, and treating every weapon as if it were loaded. To me, a safe, well-regulated well militia is one that is regulated by and for only the people.